All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? This is Josh back with another video. And today I have a different type of video. I don't think I've made a video like this before on how to like, you know, set up your PC or whatever. Um, but I've gotten a lot of questions on my setup video on how you actually set up a dual PC, uh, you know, with a set up with a capture card for streaming, uh, how to get, you know, the audio across, uh, how to set up the Elgato, whatnot. So I'm going to be covering all that in this video. The only thing I'm not going to be covering is how to split a mic because for me i'm just using a dual mic setup so i got this for the streaming pc this uh studio mic and then we have this other one just for my main pc so that's pretty much the only thing i'm not going to be covering i am going to be covering the other connections also how to get the audio from your main pc over to your stream labs and your second pc and then also you know like i said before how to connect your elgato so it actually picks up the signal i did pick up rgb fans if you notice my streaming pc looks a lot better that's why um but yeah quickly before the video starts if you like videos like this and this helps you out make sure to drop a like subscribe comment give me some feedback down below and uh yeah let's get right into the video all right guys so the first thing that i'm gonna actually cover is the connections for the pc i know i have really bad cable management back here i gotta try to deal with that soon i just started this dual pc setup so it's kind of messy for now i did have it managed before but now it's whatever um so the only connections you'll really need is how to connect both devices to the internet so for me I just have an ethernet cable running into this little mini router here that splits the signal to my blue wire, which is main PC. Then the gray wire goes around to the back of my streaming PC. So that's how I kind of just split the internet connection to both PCs. And yeah. And then for HDMI connections, I have an HDMI wire going directly from my streaming PC to my second monitor. There's no HDMI splitting there. And then for my main monitor, I have a DisplayPort cable going directly to my main monitor so it can support 144 hertz because I know some people try to capture Elgato from an HDMI going to the Elgato and then HDMI to the monitor, your main monitor, which won't uh, unfortunately let you run 144 hertz because HDMI doesn't support that, unfortunately. Um, and then I, you know, I just got a second keyboard plugged into the back, second mouse plugged in, my main stuff right there connected to the gaming PC, and that's that. For the Elgato, what you want to do is you have an HDMI going into the HDMI in. So, I don't know, I think it says it on the bottom or beside it or something like that. Yeah, it says in right there. I don't know, it's kind of blurry, but it says in, trust me. Let it focus. Right there, in, out, nothing connected to the out. Run an HDMI wire from your main PC. Uh, so, right there, you see, coming from the graphics card into the elgato so that's what's going to pick up the game signal and whatnot and then you're going to want to connect the usb type c right there running from the elgato over to the back of a usb port in your streaming pc and it's going to pick up the signal through that automatically you don't really need to install much software if you want to be doing a lot of recording and manage your software like that um, you can download the Elgato game capture, but that's pretty much all you need to do for that. So I'm actually just going to hop into my gaming PC screen and show you how to send the audio signal over through your capture card to your streaming PC so it picks it up in Streamlabs. All right, guys. So I'm actually inside of my main PC right now, and I do have the audio set up. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too hard to um, set it up. So all you want to really do is look up Realtek High Definition Audio Codex on your main PC, obviously. This is my main PC screen, just so you guys know, uh, just to clarify. And then you're gonna wanna click on the first link right here. It'll take you, it'll load. And then what you wanna just do is download the 64-bit system, one right here. Chances are, if you are running a gaming PC, it will be 64-bit Windows. Uh, there are other videos on how to check that. I'm not too sure how you can check that on your PC yourself, but there definitely are videos that cover that. So you're going to want to download that, run the software, and then what you're going to want to do after that, after you have it installed, is go down to your sound settings right here. So I'm going to right-click on it, go to open sound settings. You see I have my output device still set to my headphones, which is completely fine. Your input device set to your microphone, and you're going to want to go into your sound control panel, so for me, you see my playback ones are the HD60S, which is what you want. You want your capture card to be one of these playback options. Uh, I have my monitor ones, which I just have disabled. That's the speakers on my monitor. And then we have my, not my Beats. It's just my headsets. It used to, I used to use uh, Apple Beats for headset, but I don't anymore. I just have it called that. And then for recording, we do have 
stereo mix and microphone. If you don't have stereo mix right here, you're going to want to right click and make sure that you have show disabled devices turned on. You're going to right click on it and where it says disable, it would say enable. So you're going to want to click on that, you know, enable it and then right click and go into the properties of it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the listen tab check the listen to this device option press apply and change the playback through this device to your hd60 whatever capture card you're using so what it's going to do is it's going to capture all the audio from your main pc and it's going to send the audio through your elgato so your streamlabs can pick it up uh, and that's pretty much just how to set up the audio it's not too advanced uh, you might notice if you play fortnite that your you won't be able to hear people in game chat. So a quick, easy fix to that, I'll just quickly show you, is you go into your properties of your headset, go to your spatial sound, and turn on Windows Sonic for headphones. That's literally the easiest fix. Um, it's so easy. But, you know, that's pretty much how to do the audio. You know, go into your stereo mix, you go to listen, listen to this device, turn it on, continue running when on battery power, and then you change your playback to whatever um, shows up as your capture card. So that's how you do the audio. And then right now we're actually going to close this out. That's all you need to do for your audio. And we're actually just going to hop on over to the streaming PC on how to set up Streamlabs. All right, guys. So we're actually over on our main PC right now. Um, I do just have screen recording turned on to show you guys how to set up the Elgato right here. Um, so what you're going to want to do for this, my screen will go black for a split second. Um, all you want to do is go into your, you know, you have a new source. So this is my streaming PC, by the way. I'll quickly show you. This is what it looks like. Um, it's just a random, you know, desktop, default desktop. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go into this little ad thing. You're going to go to a video capture device right here. You're going to click on add. And then for me, it's going to go like this. You can just add a new you know video output and then it should show up automatically as your game capture 60s if not you can just go to the select option tab you know navigate to your elgato right there and then it will say audio output mode you're going to want to make sure that you have capture audio only turned on um, all this default fps and stuff should be normal you know match output fps it'll just be 1080p 60 fps uh, you can see that my gaming pc screen is on now and uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do set up the video. It's not too complicated, uh, pretty easy. Um, I'll disable this right now just so you can see what it looks like. So I'm just going to go like this into the properties. Uh, I know it's going to be a bit trippy because you can see the screen like 10 times. But um, yeah, that's just what it looks like. Elgato Game Capture HD um, and then all this stuff right here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much just how to set up your streaming PC. I'm going to quickly hop back over to my camera. All right, so pretty much this is just a little quick recap on all the things you need to set up. My Elgato just fell off my PC. Um, you know, my headset plugged into my main PC. That's how you hear my audio. I just have my PC speakers or my monitor speakers for the audio for my Streamlabs. Or, yeah, Streamlabs will be a streaming PC. Um, I don't really need the audio from it, so it's whatever. You could just use a splitter, or not a splitter, an audio interface to split like a mix amp uh, to split the audio output. But yeah, uh, you know, the Elgato, I showed how to connect that, you know, USB into the streaming PC, HDMI into the graphics card of your main PC. That's pretty much how to do that. Um, and then obviously display port, whatever you want to connect it with to your main monitor. And then we got this mic connected to the streaming PC because it's the better of the two. This is the one that my viewers will hear. We got that other gooseneck one in the back. That's for my main PC when I'm talking in Discord to my friends. It's not a bad mic either. By the way, all of my setup stuff is linked in the description if you wanted to pick anything up, like my Elgato or a streaming PC for yourself that have the same specs as mine or even my main PC, you know. Um, my headset even. Who knows? You can do whatever you want. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, this is a little, a little recap of my setup. I showed you how to send the audio over through stereo mix in your audio sound panel. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, you did find this helpful, make sure to drop a like. I'm pretty sure almost 75% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you help me out by getting me closer to my goal of 10K by the end of 2020. Uh, it really means a lot to you guys. It's... <laughs> really means a lot to me not you guys you guys are just subscribed to the channel 
and uh, you're probably one of the best communities on YouTube, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment. Any questions you guys have, I'll be answering in the comment section down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.